Hey yo, it's Lucy. I'm back with another video and this time I wanted to show you guys a little traditional piece that I did in my sketchbook. And I'm doing a bunch of these little illustrations going off of these sketches I made in my class. <laughs> I doodled them and had a lot of fun making these compositional pieces in these little narrow rectangles and I just had to paint them. I eventually <laughs> decided through a poll on Instagram that I was going to make them all gouache paintings but I, I might do some watercolors in the future. I decided to put these in my sketchbook and do one of those cutout uh, pop-up book-esque sketches. I did one of them on one of my characters, Aiden, and I made this garden scene with a lot of cool layers and it made the piece look so cool. It gives it a lot of depth. It does take a lot of work though, but I thought it'd be a fun little challenge because I haven't been drawing a lot in my sketchbook. But yeah, I really had fun doing this and wanted to show you guys. I haven't been doing a lot of sketching, like I said, uh, because I've been doing a lot of digital work lately. But I thought this would be a good way to get back into painting with just small scale stuff. Maybe I'll work up to bigger projects in the future. So. As you can see, I use my X-Acto knife to cut out all of these different panels, working really carefully to get the shape and uh, silhouettes popped out of there. And then you can see each layer through a, the other layers. <laughs> and as I move along in the composition, each subsequent piece gets its own little layer. I always start these drawings by taking the sketch I created and sort of imagining all the different pieces and what layers I'd like them to be on, so anything that would be in the foreground would have the first few layers. You kind of have to do a little bit of initial planning, but, you know, as things go along you can kind of get the hang of it. The scene that I was trying to convey in this particular piece uh, is sort of like a movie night picture. I kind of imagine some people uh, late at night watching a movie, enjoying a bowl of popcorn and some soda, and this is just a scene close up on their coffee table, and you've got really stark light coming from their TV that gives these really big cast shadows. And I really wanted to play with the light in this one, so later on I'm going to get all those shadows in and have a really fun time. Here's a close-up of the layers. I only have one layer left, which is the coffee table itself in the background layer. So, yeah, I'll leave, a, leave myself to it. <laughs> And now that I've finished cutting out all the panels, you can kind of see the image before it's colored taking its form. So we have all the different layers. And all that we have left to do is to color these layers, which is going to be so much fun. And let's get to it. I use my whole bean artist gouache and it's been a long time so this palette was like dry. So dry. <laughs> I had to moisturize it. But it came back and they were working just fine. I decided I wanted to lay down just basic colors first, so I went with a sort of Coca-Cola-esque soda can, and my goal was to just put down the colors you'd normally see, and then layer on highlights and shadows that would give that atmospheric effect of being in really high contrasting light. And then I move on to the popcorn before mixing this table color. I feel like I really need to invest in a 
bigger tube of white gouache because I use it a lot to bump up the opacity of my paints and I <laughs> always seem to run out. So I feel like it would be a really good investment. At this point, I mixed a lighter shade of sort of like a peachy, pale pink color, and I used that as a highlight for the red. So if you imagine it in really high contrasting light, that red would be really washed out and desaturated and bright. And I do the same with the blue color that I put onto the silver part of the can. It's going to basically act as my highlights before I add like the brightest whites because if you work up to that gradation you get a lot more contrast it seems to work out nicely and then oppositely I work on these shadows by mixing more of a toned down Payne's gray type of color for that silver and then I mix in like a maroon color to add to the red which I think pairs really nicely if you put them together. It really conveys a sense of like a shadow on the other side of the can. And then on that bowl, I add some dark color to the background section that you'd see through the glass. I think it looks really nice. As I start to add in the shadow of the bowl and the popcorn, I had a feeling that it was a little too green for my tastes, so I started adding some blue hues to both the background and the shadow layer, as you'll see here. I think it looks a lot better in my opinion because it, there was a lot of colors going on and I thought it was clashing a bit, but overall I think the blue looks a lot nicer. At this point, I, I felt like I really wanted to deepen the shadows on the left-hand side of the cans because it, I just I love contrast. <laughs> That's as much as I can say. It's sort of a taste preference. But as you add those really dark plum maroon colors in, it really deepens the shadows. And At this point, I was having a lot more fun. In the beginning, I was a bit worried it was looking too bright, but it was starting to look really good at this point. With the popcorn, I added some of their highlights and deepened some of the shadows up. And later I'm going to add sort of like a teal color to them, just to kind of give the appearance of like TV light on them. And then the final highlights on the cans are just going to be pretty much close to white. When I work on layers like that, I have to be careful not to track paint onto other wet layers, so sometimes I'll just work on other things while they're drying. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. I have a bunch of other ones on that sheet of paper from the beginning that I'm going to paint and eventually film. I'm so excited. They sort of follow a theme of a day in the life of an average person, looking at different scenes from daily life. Sort of like a slice of life vibe. <laughs> and here's a close-up shot of it, just to show you what it looks like up close. I really like those cans. I had a lot of fun painting this and I hope you enjoyed watching me throughout my process and I hope to be out with more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!